Hey everyone, welcome back to Pro Dealer Secrets. Today is episode 7 of the 10-part uh, series for 10 ways to sell 10 more cars this month. And today we're going to talk about how your business should receive text messages and if not, you are definitely losing customers. So last video in part 6, we talked about callrail.com which is an app that will assign you a phone number that you can use to record phone calls as well as forward the phone calls to your number or to different phone numbers um, for your salespeople or, or whatever. So today is important enough that it's going to have its own separate video and that is texting. So you may or may not have the ability to text your customers right now from a dedicated business number and if you don't then that is definitely a problem so first uh, we'll assume that you're using your cell phone if you do receive text messages and the problem with that is that you do not have digital boundaries from your customers um, you do not have the ability to go home with your, you know and take your phone home and not be bombarded by customers and that's a problem plus from my experience, all customers that communicate after hours are typically not serious customers. So not only do you have a bunch of people contacting you, you've got a bunch of people who aren't serious contacting you in the evenings, you know, messing with your time on the weekends, stuff like that. But then, you know, let's assume that you can't receive text messages and you don't you your business is a landline right now. Well, the problem with that is that you are missing a ton of text messages from customer. I know for me, um, I when I see a business and I'm like calling, I'll text it, and oftentimes, you know, it comes back with a message. This is a landline, blah blah blah, and so I just move on to the next business, and that happens pretty frequently. Plus, your customers are like that also. Um, so I don't have the stats pulled up directly here in front of me, but I can look them up real quick. I know it's something like 50 to 60% of people prefer to text a business than to call. And it's it's getting more, more and more. So here's one. We'll just go down. This is a texting service. So they probably have some good stats. So 5 billion people send and receive text messages. Yeah. Almost 300 million people in North America use text. Well, that's pretty. We know We all know these things. Um, let's see some business related. Okay, so text open rates are as high as ninety eight percent. That is true. So that if you want somebody to definitely read what you're saying, texting them is more effective than email. Uh, as many as 45% of people reply to branded text message blasts. 61% of marketers and probably even less of businesses in general use text. 52% of business leaders say that it's a major disruption in their industry. Eighty-eight percent of people said text was the number one thing they use their phones for. Wow. A majority of people, seventy-one percent, say using text message is to communicate with the business was effective. When it comes to updating or changing a purchase, 64% say they'd prefer to use mobile messages. I'm going to link this article below so you can read it, but you know, it's it's completely true that you have to be able to text your customers. And just to show you what you might be missing out on, 
here here is our uh, so for call rail which is what we use this is the uh, lead center that they and also there's an app so the app looks just like this you have all your text messages just like on your phone you can go through reply to them directly from the app so that it comes from the business phone number but here is me this is how many text messages we have gotten in the past month on a slow month too probably well over a hundred people and hundreds you know we average 500 to a thousand text messages per month which is you know hundreds of people whereas we average two to three hundred calls per month so we definitely average for our business more text messages than calls every month so here's November which was a busy month you know got a lot of people there you know, we, we definitely get anywhere from five to ten people a day that text messages. So, you are missing a ton of people by not being able to text. Guaranteed. And there's no excuse for it. You know, the excuse for using your phone is that it's convenient. I You know, it's, I'll just get another cell phone. I'll get a different number, this and that. I mean, you might as well just make it easy on yourself using this service call rails. Very easy. Like it's, uh, it's simple. You log in. You know, they've got all the calls and text messages. You can listen to all the recordings right here. You can go through and listen to recordings of phone calls very easily. Not to mention you've got all the text messages. You know, you can you can have multiple different numbers to track different things if you wanted to. And if you have multiple dealerships, that comes in handy because you can sit at your desk and manage all your dealerships from one login all the different phone numbers you can monitor everything your sales force is doing uh, it's it's amazing so from my experience you know there was a point where I was running my business from my cell phone and then we switched over to this and for me, it was very difficult to change and update everything. Um, and it was tempting to not want to do it because of how much work was going to be involved in changing all of our marketing to a different phone number. But I guarantee you it's better to go through the difficulty of changing your number to one that receives texts than to miss out on literally dozens, if not hundreds, of leads every month. I mean, you're probably costing yourself anywhere from two to five sales a month by not being able to text customers and like I said don't use a cell phone because you have to create digital boundaries that don't follow you home your business cannot follow you home or you will go insane and that's that was me I started to hate and resent my business I started to every time a customer would call me I would be mad that they're calling me like you know I shouldn't be like that but I got to the point to where I did not want people contacting me, and I was sick of it. And once I, you know, once I got to the point where I had a full-time salesperson, I pretty much stopped using my phone altogether. You know, even today, I ignore most phone calls and most text messages because I'm just sick of having a phone. And this is after, you know, seven years of full-time, you know, dealership taking leads, taking phone calls, text messages, you know, I'm just burnt out on cell phones, to be honest. So that's, you know, that's something I could have avoided earlier on. You know, after, it took me about, it wasn't until my last year and a half of owning the dealership that we started using this system, and I, I cannot recommend it enough. And so far for me, it blows away all the other options as far as grasshopper all these virtual cell phones I've, I've literally tried them all they all have something missing or it didn't work very well i mean i've tried call joy i've done that one um done call hippo i tried out grasshopper we tried out mighty call i don't think i did these care if i tried this one or not uh yep i tried this one you know, everything was just not perfect. But when I got to call rail, you know, this one, it was a perfect solution for everything we needed. And we have had no problems, no difficulties. It hasn't been an issue using this at all. <clears throat> so that's today's video. Remember, your main number has to receive text messages and your phone number 
has to be separate from your business. You need to have a dedicated phone number for your business that receives phone calls, records phone calls, receives text messages. And the best part is you can have it all on your phone in an app and you can send the calls to multiple different phone numbers at once and everybody will receive the text messages also. So you know that you're not gonna miss a lead and you can monitor everything in one interface. So until next time, this is Anthony with Pro Dealer Secrets, and I will see you guys on the next episode.